Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, episode number 50, I think. Wow. Has it already been 50? Or is this, this is actually episode 50? Jeez. Now there's been a few comments, and they've been slowly trickling in like this for a while, but I'm really starting to take them more seriously. Kind of saying that the series is slowing down and losing its air, and... I... Oh, damn it, torpedoes, damn it. Well, this is kind of a waste, but we'll see if we can get 362 out of them. I don't think there's anything within 362, but pff, it's launch them or lose them at this point because it's almost time for nightfall. So I guess I could... What, what's the cooldown on that? I think I launched all my aircraft, but 0.1. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to RTB to these guys. I think it's actually more sensible to RTB them than to actually try to do that, but that's fine. I'll, I'll do that in a second. So... We have a little bit of time. Uh, I sent out a ton of scouts. From here, from here, I mean, you can just see the shadows. There's tons of airplanes leaving. Which means, yes, I did take some time off camera to do that again. But anyways, I have an idea as far as, like, th how things are going to go slowly building up to the, the way things are going to be. Uh, I'm going to start doing more jump cuts, I think. So more, like, breaking out of camera passing time off camera and then cutting back in when there's something interesting to report. So can I get the Avengers? Yeah, let me RTB these guys. Uh, and yeah, so another thing I should mention, by the way, I should have mentioned this first is what you saw at the end of the last video with the, the skirmish, the sea action with uh, my SAG, my cruiser force against the three destroyers. I had to redo that battle because I didn't save the game when I exited, so I had to refight that battle. It went a little bit differently. I actually sank the Wakatake, the, which was the, um, the least significant, the smallest of those three destroyers. So almost no difference, but there is a small difference in that the Japanese are one destroyer lighter. It's not going to make much of a difference. Those two destroyers, I mean, in my opinion, carry the same threat level, carry the same like strategic importance as the three did. But there is just a small difference. If you notice that there's only two destroyers somewhere over here, that's the reason why. Here we can see there are a ton of aircraft going out, as there should be. So yeah, with Tortuga has done his job, hooray. And I'll even get some scouting into the Pacific area over there, but really don't know what I should be doing with, um, so, I mean, I guess there's the possibility of, oh. There's the possibility of, hmm, this is actually probably something we ought to just go and engage. There's the possibility of battleships out there, besides this ever-looming but never-realized possibility that there's actually going to be some, some carriers. And I don't know what the deal with those is. Now, what? What's the range? Nah, it looks a little too far. I imagine that's, let's see, of course. Yeah, this is 350 nautical miles already, which is probably the more or less the limit of our aircraft. I mean, they can go a little bit further, but it shows you that we're not going to be able to get all the way over to these destroyers. Uh, Dog, the Hornet, has a like 1.2 hour cooldown, which I'm pretty sure we're just not going to be able to get those aircraft off in time. But we're going to converge with this destroyer group, and I think I'll just fight that off camera. So it's going to be stupid. <laughs> pretty meaningless. Um, we'll... I guess we could move... Fox in a position to take out the destroyer. I will move him forward a little bit because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but move forward a little bit is not bad. We'll get this combat pretty soon, I think. In fact, should should I just no? I, I want to initiate it as close to them as possible so that they have the least chance to escape. What else was going on? So this Avenger is looking for somebody, but I don't know where those guys are. They are very nearly out of fuel. Oh, we actually got them. Amazing. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> we just want to hit something, right? Oh, and get these guys launched now. Put some rockets on this time. We'll send them in the same direction. I mean, hey. If it worked once, it might work again. Surprised that this battle hasn't been joined yet. I'm very surprised. So the aircraft ones will always be able to go in and do those. So this kind of incentivizes even more of an air-focused way of playing. 
Okay, let's do it. Let's go tactical. Start, pause, make sure we have rockets. We do. Fantastic. Okay, so next order of business. We should hit the deck. There they are. We even picked up a wildcat. What do we have going on here? Uh, three. Okay, so this is the weakest of the three. Now, I think that raw number is the most important, so what I'm going to do is actually have both of them attack the same target. Because I believe that it is more important to take out anything than it is to damage you know, the more important strategic or just the better destroyer. So I would just rather that we are able to destroy a destroyer than actually um, sinking the one I want, which would be the more modern ones. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're going in nice and low. It's a little bit late, so visibility might not be that good. 60% they say. They have not spotted us yet, obviously, so they have not adjusted course yet. I'm assuming that they're going to adjust course to the right, which is... I actually think I should have come in at a slightly less of an oblique angle, more from their side. We'll see what happens. Okay, they've spotted us now, I guess. They're firing. Yep. See the shells going out. So good luck. Yeah, we're, we're really close to them though. And they are turning the way, so it looks like they will always, as a course of action, turn to, to the starboard side. Alright, that's some good damage. I want these to both peel off immediately though, so let's get them to turn hard to the right, because we are, we don't need to run all the way over them. That's Q, Q, and let's get their speed and their everything. Think we're gonna make it? All right. Not that these matter. I forgot these are the ones out of Port Moresby, so it doesn't really matter. But we landed, so we got some good damage. Ooh, wow, we got we got some really good damage. We actually sank her. Well, that's perfect. I don't think we'll ever have to not do these attacks because th these happen like it's just so quick. It's, it's pretty easy. So <laughs> I will greatly prefer to be sticking to air fights, naval air strikes. But great that we got that one. Actually, I have no idea where we're at in terms of command points. I know we just bought... Well, there's another three, but I know we just bought seven. Okay, we bought this big group. And what did Convoy Walsh end up doing? We did load him with supplies. We didn't send him anywhere. Oh, brother, what a ding-dong I am. Supplies has to go over to Guadalupe now. That's, like, mandatory. I think I was going to try to give a destroyer for them, but it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. We certainly don't have to. It's, not, it's just not going to change anything. <laughs> yeah, because we just, yeah. There's nothing out here anymore. I guess there technically are two more submarines. Let's just kind of take stock of the situation. We haven't done that for a while. But yeah, anyway, um, going back to the very first thing I was talking about at the start of this video, I'll probably be doing a little bit more cutting away in the, in the dry periods. Certainly for like boring surface action fights, which I don't think are terribly interesting. So the total, let's go, can we look at a, a total here? There it is. 820,000 tons sunk, that's 125 ships. Only put down 37 aircraft, but hey, we haven't seen their aircraft carriers yet, so. It looks like that one was a Minikaze. These have all been walking talkies. So have we sank any momies? It'd be interesting to see. One sec. Oh yeah, it reminds me of this Congo battleship we sank. That's right. I don't know, I guess the better thing to look at is probably just to look at what ships they have left. So they have, yep, they still have two submarines. That's really interesting. I kind of think I'm not sure about this, but I kind of think that these might even be all the way over to the east. They haven't launched any aircraft, which means maybe I actually shot down these submarines' aircraft, so I can't actually find out where they are. 
Or maybe they just simply haven't they haven't used uh, those. But yeah, those are all down. None of the momies have been used yet, which means we've been sinking these and we've sank five of the eight. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's jump to the interesting stuff though. I, I just, never mind. there's not, everything else is already well known. So the Minikazis, they have, we've sank a lot of them, like seven or so, but there's still more. I mean, that's the problem with all these destroyers. There's just a lot of them out there. So, yeah, Kamikazes, sank quite a few of them. Half, I guess? Four of eight? Four of nine. Uh, only a few of these. Bukis, yeah, they, they have a ton of destroyers left. Well, we'll do our, our best. We're doing our best right now. Yeah, I'll probably not fight this one on camera, but we'll just have my light cruisers engage that destroyer whenever we can. Man, we're damn close. Okay, I'm going to tactical. This is as close as I feel like we can get. Uh, let's start with our radar on. And I'm going to kind of preemptively make a turn to the south-southeast. Get our speed up. Start. Oh my, you gotta be out of your mind. How, wow. Okay, so we're expecting incoming torpedoes right away, which means we're, everyone's gonna break. First of all, get everyone targeting. So let me just, have we detected it yet? Okay, we're in like amazing shape from the perspective that we, they, wait. No, they've already spotted me, I'm sure, so. Yeah, what we're gonna do is, um, McCall's gonna break right. Mari's gonna break left and probably New Orleans and everyone else is going to break left. Amazing that we can't see her yet considering she's right in front of us. <laughs> and get everyone to do like basically max speed. I wish I wasn't there a way to cycle through. Okay. Oops. Okay, just wanted to check. There's a report button that I keep missing. I, I guess it's not, oh, here it is. Okay, that, that shows us what we want to know. Okay, very good. People have been talking about it for a long time, but that doesn't show as much information as I, I thought. I thought you could actually see like what. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're already engaging. Yes, we need to go through each one of these, make sure that they are going their max speed. That's what I was doing. We are expecting torpedoes in the water, that's for sure. And nothing we can really do. I guess I can just start firing where I think she is. I mean, she's like right there, though. It's just comically close to us. Uh, we'll sink her very quickly, so it's mainly going to be about avoiding the torpedoes. Okay, she's directly in front of us. Prepare to HE that. Are we raising the guns? think so, so let's hold fire. Just waiting for the <laughs> incoming identification. There it is. Alright, let's go down the list. Let me click on her, identify her. Yeah, she's already turned her guns. She's definitely... She did not have any problem spotting us, which is not surprising. Looks like it's... Oh, we got Minikaze. <laughs> no. Kamikaze? Yes. Okay. Well, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, um, okay, so just get everyone to target her. Three, four. Yeah, we won't cut away for this one because this is like crazy. I think it'll be over pretty quickly, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to give orders for everyone just to engage without manual. I feel like that's the prudent choice here. Uh, we'll do full spread on the ones I'm not automatically targeting. I probably, okay, let me actually manually control one of these, or maybe two. So narrow, fire. Yeah, something like that. I'll probably do this with Historia as well. I don't know if we have any um, 
these guns left. It's going to be very, very quick. She's turning nose on with us. So we have to watch out for that. Did we just hit her or is she firing? She's firing. She's probably going to be hitting. Oh, that's a lot of shells incoming. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that we have you not firing manually. And Astoria is going to fire manually. So let me just keep tabs on her. Manual fire. So we know when she's going to fire. We'll just hold. Alright, fire. How we doing? Are we hitting her yet? Damn close. Oh, yeah, torpedoes are early. And she went for the decoy, though, which is fantastic. Oh, she's going to go down very quickly. But she went for the decoy, which is fantastic. <laughs> oh, we missed that one. I got that one too late. Okay, so let's grab Savannah as well, which I thought, I think, so, so straighten all these guys out. Steady as you go, steady as you go. So I only have to watch for you guys, so you actually don't want to go steady as you go. And McCall, you can just keep coming back. I th you're going to actually skate because of momentum, so we'll let you skate a little bit more. Um, yeah, she's going to go down. Okay, and we didn't even end up firing you guys, but... You know, fire your HE at her just for fun. Just gonna go down right away. Alright, so we didn't have to worry about this in the end. This was not nearly as bad. Okay, so everyone's gonna hold fire, I assume. Let's see, is anybody gonna fire still? No. What? Yes! What are you doing? Cease fire! Okay, we gotta go through and actually do this. Cease fire. You would think that the ship being reported as sinking... You know what? That's not necessarily true. Sometimes ships don't decide... They decide to be very, very cautious about whether an enemy is actually sinking or not. Okay. That's all of them. Cease fire. And that's it. Oh, you actually got... We, got, we have some damage here. So you need to slow all the way down. Control that damage. No flooding, just some fires. Should be pretty easy to put out. Speed's coming down in a hurry. Should, at least. We're, we're reversing the motors just to make sure that we don't, uh, we, and, you know, assist our own ability to fight fire. Okay, we'll slow down to five knots or so. Speed this up. Looks like the repairs are going to get done, no problem. That was good. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, not wasn't good, but I mean, man, I, we were so close on the world map, but I didn't realize we were that close. Yeah, minor damage, but if we sit here for long enough, we should end up not with any damage. Yeah, I'll cut away from this. Alright, that's the current state. Now we're down to no damage. Just, I guess all those Explosive shells just buff right out, which is fantastic news for me. A little bit wonky, but we'll take it. Okay, you're going to RTB. That's fantastic. We do have some B-17s entering the AO. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we'll, and we're also going to watch this it's like flooding, just absolute flood of kingfishers, which should be giving us very good visibility. And... It's going to allow us to very easily target things, and that is perfect, B-17. We'll track pretty closely with these, see where they're going. Oh, perfect. We're, we're basically on an intercept course. Um, you, what are you doing? You have given up on your orders. Which, if I can mimic them, or something like this. I'll do something like that, then. Okay, there's another set of destroyers. Hmm... One second. Ah, oh, kids. <laughs> oh man, this is the first time it's been this this badly interrupted, but we're back, we're back. So we have the B-17 is probably not, that's 162. 
Mm, very unlikely to get this far. I will task him that way, and we'll re, you know, redirect him if there's any other uh, destroyers that we find closer. But since there's not a whole lot we're seeing right now, the best we can hope for is just go after what's already there. And it's almost time. We're three minutes away. Is there anybody else we want to launch? Because I'm a patient man, and sometimes I feel like it's, sometimes it's just important to get it all done. So yeah, this is important. We'll just do these. I actually sent one of the Kingfishers all the way up here <laughs> to Rabul because it's going to be after 1600, so the there won't be any any cap, which is a little bit weird that we're flying. We're able to fly airplanes and they can't fly them, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. We'll take it. And I think our spread is going to be something like this, this, and this. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we have a ton of aircraft going out all over the place. So we should have very good visibility if there's any other... any things. Yeah, what the heck's going on here? Why do we keep losing these aircraft every time they touch something? Something like that. Nice right, back. Yeah, these guys, we need to lead them a little bit more. Shouldn't be a problem now. There's two of them, and we are four. So we could skip bomb with two pairs of two. Or we could just skip bomb with one each, and then also level bomb with one. Air oh, oh, is it too late? I think it's too late, but we will try. It's not too late. That's awesome. Okay, so we either can get off some Dauntlesses. First of all, let's... Oh, man, it's going to take a while, but I think it is worth it to just... Make sure we're patrolling around ourselves. In fact, let me do this. Oh, that's what we do. Okay. So I was wondering what this, what this was for, but that's for doing a circle. The thing is, I uh, kind of don't want to do that because I want one to do that, but one to start circling from the east, one to start circling from the west, etc, etc, etc. So we'll get you to do that. Thank you for whoever said that wonderful tip about... Uh, you can just... you don't have to do one at a time. You don't have to find the ship before it. You can just turn off aircraft and then, yeah, that's so helpful. So I'm probably going to do it this way myself manually. I think we do need at least some kind of scouting going on. Like this. And... Should be the last one. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Okay, very good. Then what do we actually want to launch? We'll probably launch a few other aircraft for spotting. Um... I'm not going to make this, like, too crazy, because we don't want to take too much time, but... Oh, man, I mean, I could sit here and do this all day, right? But let's, let's not do that. Let's just do a few angles and then call that good enough. Because you can see how long this takes me. If you're wondering, if you're bored watching this, imagine how I have to do this every single time before <laughs> when I want to do this scouting. It's terrible. I really wish there was a better way, but as far as I know, there's not. Like maybe there can be a, uh, maybe, okay, I'm just trying to think from a game designer standpoint. Maybe you can have an option where you click on, like, the Wildcats, and then you, every time you click and hit, there's like a box that's up here, and you can click next, click, click next, click, click next, click, click next. Yeah, I don't even need to set elaborate waypoints. That's, I mean, look, ideally sure, but for getting some quick scouting in, for my sanity's sake, I, I wouldn't mind if it was like one, just one, one route. But what are we doing about these guys though? Oh, a Hornet can launch, and I'm a Ding Dong, because I didn't actually launch what I wanted to, which was some Dauntlesses. What's going to be better? Well, we're up Dauntlesses over Avengers, so let me launch those, and we'll go take out these guys up here, I think. Because anything closer to the east is probably going to be in range of the Enterprise when she can finally uh, launch in the morning. Also nice to know, although a little bit strange, that 1600 exactly is not the cutoff. 
I'm an idiot. It's 1800, not 1600. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so of course we're doing fine. Which means some of those kingfishers I sent up here are probably going to get shot down. Because <laughs> I sent them like in full range of the... Yeah. Exactly like this. Okay. Well, I'm still going to try to save these guys, but... Uh, unlikely. Whatever direction you're going is probably the wrong one, but we're fine. Okay, keep keep going wherever you're going. Okay, moving on. Oh, that's this is this is super interesting. We have them; they're B intercepting the B-17s. I kind of want to take this one. I mean, if I had more than four B-17s, I think we would actually fight this, but I'm not going to risk it. And they are close. Where the hell are they? We're actually shooting at them already. Did we down any of them? That is a wall of fire. I'm waiting for them to start shooting, because I hey we can get some free shots in until they start shooting. Now's probably the time to leave. Oh we oh no, we did lose one! Okay, then time to go. <laughs> Bug out. We'll take our one loss on the chin. It's gonna interrupt our strategy here a little bit, but not too badly. It does really make you think there's got to be somebody out here, right? A carrier of some kind? If the B-17s are the ones that end up finding it, that would be wonderful. In my eyes, wonderful. And look at that. Okay, so they are approaching just fine. I'm going to overshoot a little bit because I'm still worried about where the fighters are. They are invisible, but that doesn't mean they've disappeared entirely. Let's go up here, go tactical. Alright, so we have three, and there are two, um, two destroyers, I believe. Yeah, so how do we want to do this? I think we're going to level bomb. First things first, let's get into new formation. Yeah, form up in line ahead. <sighs> I, I kind of think that uh, they're going to do some turning, though. If we do skip bombing, that's difficult. I just think, well, let's look at what are we dealing with here. If they're big enough, maybe they're big enough that the skip bombing would work. I have a feeling it won't. All right, I'm gonna make a command decision here. I'm gonna pull one off for potentially skip bombing, but I'm gonna bring both of the other ones in from the nose so that the time to convergence, uh, the time like, uh, okay, so do something really wide like this. I wanna go directly on, nose on with them like this so that uh, they have the least amount of time to react. And I'm going to keep my altitude basically where it is, and this guy's just going to spin in a circle until I give him new orders. We probably should do something a little bit more elegant than that, but it's fine. This will work. I just don't want them to see me. So let's do this. It doesn't look like they're going to see me. That is, these guys are really close. <laughs> that is a tight formation. A little surprised that we didn't that we didn't do a little bit better with the B-17s against the zeros there. I actually, the main thing is, I'm really surprised they shot me down so quickly. I was gonna cheese the system like, oh, we can take a little bit of damage, but no, these B-17s, despite their name, I mean, despite their like very, very rugged and reliable reputation, went down a little bit easy, I'd say. I'm not gonna complain about it because I was cheesing the game anyway, but. <laughs> right. Maybe I'll just cut away here until we get into our line. All right, making our final approach. So they haven't started their turn yet. I don't care if I lose these, I just want to make sure they get their bombs off first. Bomb bays are open. So I'm expecting that they will start making that turn though, when they spot me. 
Slow her down a little bit more. Okay, this is what I expect is the right angle. Just waiting for them to see me. Okay, they have seen me now. And they are actually turning the other way. Dang it. Now, what I need to do is have you break and slow down to buy me some time to do two different attacks. I still want you to slow down because I don't know exactly where we're going. Four bombs. This is looking good, though. probably missed that one horribly. We got a chance here. Number two is apparently not turning yet. <laughs> we know she will. So we're going to lead her a little bit better. Alright. Let's see if that works. And then we'll do some skip bombing or something. I don't know. I'm not very good with the B-17s yet. So that's just fine. Let's see if we can... Oh! Nice! Okay. Well, that has caused some damage at least. At the very least, we've done something. So I'm going to aim for the second one. So number three is going to target number two. Let's go in with her. So don't keep spinning in circles. As I mean, I guess I can... Can, can these guys strafe? This would be comical to me if we could. Let's go in and strafe. I think it... Are they going to do it? Alright, have number three come in. What's your angle? Yeah. Okay, so speed up. I'll manually control you in. Somewhere this way. I think I see smoke right there. Let's get you way down. Try to make this as difficult to miss as possible. In fact, let's do our skip bombing we mentioned. I see the smoke and the fire all the way over there, so we got a ways to go, unfortunately. So it doesn't look like they are going to do any kind of attacking. Yeah, they are not. Are you? Or are you just turning? Nah. Yeah, you were just turning. By mistake. Which I guess we kind of want. B-17-2 is actually going <laughs> to go back in so that we have another target. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. So we want to make sure we're actually skip bombing correctly. Um, 200 versus... Go down to like 190 just to give her the other one some time to catch up. There she is. This is, this is, this is a lot of fun. I, love, I like the idea of skip bombing. And this is where I expect what more what I expected to see, like some very resilient ships. Because number two is not turning, I wonder if I even just don't go in. I could just not go in at the same angle. I could go in at a pretty oblique angle. I think I'm gonna do that. Can I F9 yet? Okay. Two is gonna slow down a little bit. Give three time to catch up. All right, let's see it. Number three, let's see what you got. Get us down, hit the deck. Going down to 90 feet. 80 feet. Oh, it's pretty, pretty low. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. I 
don't know, are you supposed to be going faster or slower? I like our line here. Bombays are open. Shift a little bit. Final corrections. What's our distance to her? Can I get a distance at all? Oh, target. Uh, 2,000. That's right. So, uh, we're still not close enough. They are firing at us for sure. Oh boy. Alright, let her loose. But she didn't get him up. Wait. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that worked. I think that she... We got two bombs out, but I didn't see them even skipping. So I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, so let's just uh, pretend this never happened. The good news is we have that other group of four B-17s, and this was all just a practice run. So we'll be able to do something with those instead now, I think. Just move away. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen faster, being able to hit F9 or whatever. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Okay, well, 30 seconds. One, zero. By the way, first time I've noticed, I'm sure it's been there before, but first time I'm really seeing layer depth and all that. Uh, didn't matter in this case, but... Uh, didn't do any damage to them in the end. Okay, yeah, that's... Well, could be better. Where is my other B-17? Oh, boy. They will not even make it. They only have 37 nautical miles left. Okay, well, we'll do our best. Maybe I can angle it a little bit. We just have to get lucky. And those were moving west as well, unfortunately. So you found something, but you're, like, deciding not to move now? Is that what's going on? <clears throat> the Hornet's ready to launch. I mean, I guess we should be launching. Because we can just launch more Dauntlesses. I probably want to launch little groups of Avengers. <clears throat> just to start wiping up these, um... Uh, okay, you know, rockets have been very effective. What if I do groups of... How many was it? It was just two Avengers that sank that one. So let's go with uh, maybe two groups of six will sink. So three Avengers per, just to be like doubly safe to make sure we get the kill. I could even just do four Avengers just to be like really, really, really sure. No, let's not do that because, again, it's a, it's, everything's a cooldown. So let's send six with rockets out. Take the pressure off these B-17s. Yeah, you're probably not going to make it since they have more time than I originally thought. <laughs> so just go this way. I don't even know where you're supposed to go, but if you were going to go that way, don't. Oops. Uh, this guy's going home. Fine. We tried. Rental Island is now able to launch. Rental Island, you say. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, you're moving, you're moving. Is anybody down over here? No. So nobody's stuck, not moving when they should. What in God's name are you doing? Holy crap. I have never seen bad, worse pathfinding than that. <laughs> that is not where I, I know, I, I actually have no idea where you're supposed to be going. I assume without supplies you're going back home, but I know that that's not the route. No, it's definitely not the route home. It's not the route to anywhere. It's just garbage. All right, this one looks good. Okay, here we go. Here's a bunch of stuff. So did we launch those Avengers already? Because this is where you want to be now. We'll ignore. Close this. And we'll retask the Avengers to move to this area. But it's basically a bunch of destro oh, six destroyers. Six destroyers is a lot of destroyers. Can you launch again? 0.1 hours. Okay, well, we're gonna launch 12 Avengers at that. All of them with rockets. Just start chipping away. We really wish we could get the B-17s in. In fact, maybe... I'm gonna try something here. Unfortunately, it's gonna mean all these are unavailable for a little bit of time, but how long is it gonna take for you to get there? 
and about an hour anyways, and it's, it's 30 minutes is the time we need before it resets. So what if I do this? Will we get the B-17s? Let's try it. Answer, yes. Awesome. So start pause. Uh, you guys are actually still fine. Ah, oh, but it didn't, it, the wildcat didn't get into the area where I wanted it to. We didn't get the, I don't think we have the um, enemy destroyers in the fight here. Oh, we, we actually did it. What? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, get some altitude. I don't know if you'll be able to make it back in time, but B-17s. This is so cool. We got really lucky. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll probably just not, I'm not going to skip bomb anymore, but we'll do some like low level, low level bombing, low space level dash bombing. That's what we'll go for this time. Yeah, yeah, I know. And they shouldn't be able to see me because it's basically nighttime, so that should be the good news. Who am I controlling here? Oh man. I don't know why this game sometimes doesn't work. You know, you hit W or whatever, and then sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, that's what I want. That's good. Are they doing any kind of business, you know, maneuvering and all that? I don't think so. I think we'll identify... Well, we don't really need to, but we'll just take a look and see what we're dealing with here. And you know what? I don't even think we care about what we're dealing with here. Looks like they're all modern. Take that back. That might be one of the last kamikazes. Two of the... Two, two of the... However many last kamikazes. And... Eventually, I think we'll form up into two different groups. I think two groups of two. I mean, eventually, though, we'll want to have send them all in one at a time, kind of. Like we want to space it out so that we don't actually want them to detect you. Let's do something like this. Yeah, I mean, the B-17s are basically on station now, so... No need to do anything more. You've done your job. Let's get these guys to break formation. And reform up line ahead. I'll probably have actually two different groups here. We'll do five and six are going to break and form up on their own as well. Because I want to, them to go down the two columns. So I think... This is actually weird. I, I guess I'll go for two and four and one and three. Despite, like, in theory, wanting to go for the modern ones, which means sending three down the path and then one over on one. Which I guess I could do. But I, I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Let's do more spacing. And same with you. And you guys slow down a little bit. Yeah, they're all spreading out a bunch now. That's what I wanted to see. You guys go back, back up to max speed. So some more attempts at, you know, trying to get it right, trying to undo what I had done, the terrible things I had done, those poor other B-17 pilots. Alright, move on in. Now, let's start getting our targets going. Pretty good. That looks pretty good indeed. They're gonna turn at the last minute, but just try to come in really low. Remember that these bombs, we have four of them. I have to remember that. I have four of these bombs, so we don't need to. 1500. I think I'll keep you guys slightly higher. No, no. 
We want you lower, 1370 then. So we have less time to react. Let's slow you down. A lot. Alright. So the first one's going to attack ship number two. We are a little bit off from that. Why does hitting D turn you left? Have they spotted us? I think they're starting to spot us now. Okay, slow way down. Get everyone to slow, like, all the way down now. Alright. Oh my god, bomb base. I think we'll still have enough time to do this, but that could have gone better. Break. Break. You level out. So he's going to go for number four, the next one anyway. So we want to start our bombing runs a little bit earlier this time because, you know, the bombs take some while, a while to fall. Perfect. That was really good. I think we might actually get a hit on that one. It's target number four. Yeah, that probably could have been avoided. <laughs> Still sending them right into the into the group. All right. Good enough. Good luck. Number five. <laughs> Where are you? Top of you, target number three. Is it too late to target number one? And then have number six end up going for number six? I think that's what I'm going to end up doing here. Let's have you slowly turn, and let's have number five try to go for... Mm, maybe number two? So we might actually get a hit on number four. Oh my gosh, we did! Holy smokes, that was awesome. I think we're going to turn enough to get number two as well. Okay, and number six, going for number six. Like a bat out of hell. Good. Alright, break and go! It'd be nice to have one survive. <laughs> I don't think, uh, oh, we, we have had a few survive. Okay, that's fantastic. Sweet. Excellent. We definitely have gotten a kill here. Well, I shouldn't say kill. Oh, man, that was close. That was number six, right? Yeah. We got close. I don't know what what happened up happening to those bombs. I only watched one close, close, close miss. We had one hit though. And hey, you never know. Maybe they'll go, you know, into stupid formations and do stupid things and hit each other. That would also be nice. It doesn't look like this one's gonna end up sinking as much as I was like really hopeful about that at first. Unless, <laughs> unless it gets rammed by its compadre. They do not. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see the collision avoidance algorithms at work here but it's not fantastic work. Not bad, at least we got the B-17s to do something. You know, that's really what I want. And what I think I'm gonna do is actually retreat and leave, because I don't think we're gonna end up sinking this one, and, oh, okay, wait a second. Wait a second, there's hope. Whoa. Um, you know what, I actually think we are gonna sink her now. Take my, I changed my mind. She's still burning, but I think we're going to get her. I'm bringing us back just so I can see what happens here, so we have the option to leave or not. Yeah, secondary's going off. This is good. This is a good sign. And it is one of the modern ones. Looks like an Asashio or something like that. 
So that's a fortuitous uh, closing to the episode. Mm. If she, in fact, does go down. But I think that because of all the secondaries and all that, fires are going to continue to burn. And... No, I'm, I'm just hoping that things just continue to spiral out of control. Now, why do we still have a bomb indicator on number four? I guess that's just a hard-coded thing. We don't have a bomb left, though. Aircraft? Oh, that's a float plane. <laughs> Well, go shoot it down, you ding-dongs! Go shoot it down! Go get it! I don't know what, al what altitude it's at, but... Oh, well. This is... Oh, it did put out the fires. Okay, well then, go ahead and retreat. Moderate damage. Oh, we did hit somebody else. Heavy damage. Okay, that's not bad. Unless that was from a previous thing. Anyway, this is going to be where we call this one to a close. That was kind of an entertaining group. I don't know what's going on with the float planes, though. I don't really know where these float planes are coming from. I've, like, swarmed the Solomon Sea with with uh, scouts, with wildcats, float planes, everything. But I can't find anything that is, should be launching float planes. So this is a complete mystery to me. Uh, anyway, that'll do it for this one, so I'll catch you back for the next. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.